Chennai-based young engineer Shanmuga Subramanian, who actually detected the Vikram lander on the moon. He was the one who alerted NASA first, and then they've also acknowledged his tip-off, his initial leads, and thank you very much for your time. You have become an international sensation overnight now. Congratulations. Thank you. It feels elated to uh, NASA confirm that that's the Vikram lander, whatever I sent them an email. And uh, I hope this also inspires a lot of other amateurs as well as people who are involved in, uh, who are, uh, for their hobbies, involved in space exploration as well as other stuff. So you actually located the exact spot where yeah. Vikram is lying now? Yeah. So I, I just located the debris of the lander. So based upon it, NASA searched around that uh, location and found more debris of the Vikram lander, actually. So what I did was I just found a one piece of it, and based upon it, NASA was able to do more research on it during the uh, subsequent flybys on November 14th and 15th, and they were able to. The presence of debris of Vikram landed on that particular area. It's quite big. Yeah, it's quite big, but it's a little sad at the same time because uh, we all expected Vikram to land on the surface. I hope uh, ISRO will again will have a successful Chandrayaan 3 and they will be able to land on moon uh, next time. Tell me how much time it took for you to track this, how, what kind of work you did? Yeah, so the work I did, uh, because first uh, I got nowhere to start with, so I did a little search around Twitter as well as in some of the Reddit forums like ISRO sub, uh, subreddit forum where there were intended landing locations and path of the lander also there was there. And uh, based upon this, and there was another astronomer who was tracking the um, Vikram lander's radio frequencies. So from all these, what I directed means, uh, deduced means uh, the Vikram lander should have landed from the north pole of the site. And uh, so on the internal landing location, I searched only on the north of the landing location. I didn't go anywhere south of the location. And I searched only in two into two square kilometer area because uh, Vikram lander at la, uh, last point of communication was something like one kilometer away from the internet landing location. So I made myself sure that it has to be within the one kilometer range. So I searched around two into two square kilometer area. I was able to find little difference, which is that white little dot which NASA has confirmed as depth of Vikram lander. You are basically a mechanical engineer working for an MNC here. Yeah. Uh, what kind of tools did you use for this? Uh, so I didn't use any tools, so it's by just by scanning the images on one of my laptops and seeing the old images on my another my laptop. And there is nothing like I didn't do anything like image processing other stuff. Uh, but being a basically a mechanical engineer it helps me a lot because I was interested in rocket science right from the start. So I have never, never missed ISRO's launches till my college. The, I was seeing all of the rocket launches, be it ASLV, ASLV or PSLV right from the start. I even saw the GSW's first launch, which was a failure, which didn't even take off from the uh, launch pad itself. So it, it got all kind of me interested right from the start itself. Now, this is your small lab. I, don't, I won't say because a <laughs> lot of people have a much more bigger lab than this, actually. So if you can explain to me this image you are having on your laptop. Yeah, so on the left side, whatever uh, we see is the image that was uh, released by NASA on September 17. So the small dot, whatever I am showing my uh, finger over it, is the debris of the lander. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is one of the old images. Okay. So which I took from LRO, and the old images, um, you are not able to see any of those uh, right. white dots over here. So that should have been a white dot if that had been there previously, but I was not able to find any of those white dots. Right. So that basically confirms, so this is the debris of the lander, actually. And how much of time you spent every day yeah, I did spend some time. I did spend something like uh, four to five hours uh, or maybe six to seven hours every day. That is, I, I would sleep at two o'clock and then wake up around at six o'clock in the morning and then again find st start searching for it because it's kind of a hobby before I go to office. Let me, let me search and find something. So I did it for something like three to four days. And after that, once I found it, I just tweeted to NASA and sent me an email on October 18th. I, d I do know that they will take some time to confirm it because they wanted to be 150% sure before replying back because they are a public organization. And um, I do know that they will reply back and ultimately it came today, actually. Your family knows about this? Yeah, my family feels elated. And Where are they? They are from Madurai, actually. I am from Madurai, actually.
Which part of Madurai? I've been in Madurai. So I am from Kudal Nagar in Madurai. Wow. Okay. And tell me, when you heard NASA early this morning confirming to you by email, how did you react? What ran in your mind? Yeah, I think I did feel a lot of happiness that I was able to find it, which NASA was not able to find it initially. Uh, but it's it's nothing to do to be proud of actually because a lot of our scientists do a lot of hard work. I think they sh they should have been able to land uh, Chandra and two on the moon surface. I hope they would be successful in the next time. And we we need a lot of support for them. And uh, the way our Prime Minister Modi as well as uh, ISRO's chairman supported them, I think uh, we should be supporting them further and further. And failures are stepping stone to success. And we should not be criticizing them at any point of time. And we should be m allocating more to the space budget, actually. Many would also ask you, why did you choose to inform Na NASA instead of ISRO? No, I did send a tweet to NASA, ISRO as well. Uh, but uh, I did send a couple of emails to a couple of NASA scientists. So they were, they were in charge of the L LRO images. And they were uh, actually scanning those images. And they have a team under them. So, uh, so I got a good response from them, actually. But for, for ISRO, we do, didn't have any public media relations or something like that. So we do not know who is responsible for Chandrayaan 2. And I would ask ISRO to most probably uh, publicize those data sets, whatever the images they have for Chandrayaan 2 or Chandrayaan 1, because it will, exp it will allow the students as well as others to explore more about the moon surface. Because lastly, would you like to visit ISRO, NASA sometime? What next? Uh, I have visited uh, ISRO's Tumba station that is at Tirunandaburam. So that's where all, all our ISRO started in the beginning. So I did see a sounding rocket launch from there. And time and again, whenever there are launches from Sri Gota, I try to capture it uh, using my mobile camera because we do see PSLV launches over here. So I would say that I would be interested at some point of time. Would you like to make a shift in your career? Um, not at this time because IT is where you can do a lot more. You can change people's life. And I would, I would say that maybe down the line, I will, I will think about it, but not right now. Because IT, we can change people's life by an, uh, by an app or something like that. And I also, do, I also have a Facebook page called Chennai Rhymes, where uh, I do publicize about the rain updates by looking at Chennai's radar, that is IMD's Chennai's radar. So there is a lot more we could do with respect to people. Lots of people contacting you on Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are contacting me right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Shanmugha Subramani, for your time. And certainly, I'm sure the country is proud of you. Thank you. With Shanmugha Subramani at a small lab, if you can call it, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.